Top 10 Anime Series, Based on Samurai Number 10 Sword of the Stranger Sword of the Stranger was released in 2007 and takes place in a historic but fictionalized era of Japan's past. A group of marauders from the West are relentlessly pursuing a boy named Kotaro, who has only his dog Tobimaru and a nameless samurai called Nanashir to help him. However, Nanashir has a dark past and isn't allowed to draw his sword, an unusual problem for a samurai. As the story goes on, the mysterious backstories of both the main characters are revealed, and we learn why Kotaro is being pursued along with who Nanashir is and where he came from. Number 9. Jintama. Jintama is a fan favorite and one of the most popular as well as critically successful samurai anime in existence. The basic premise is wildly creative, taking place in the historic Edo period but in an alternative reality where the samurai must defend the earth from invading aliens. This is the episodic anime series that aired from 2006 to 2010. Number 8. Kurazuka. The title means Black Mound and is a reference to a chilling legend of the Anababa, a malevolent type of spirit from Japanese folklore. This samurai anime has similar themes, plus it's known for its visceral yet beautiful depictions of violence and depravity, typical of the Madhouse studio that produced it. Number 7. House of Five Leaves one of the best samurai anime that is highly recommended for its unique artwork alone, there's also a compelling drama behind the subtle plot in House of Five Leaves. The main character, Masano Sukakitsu, is a freelance samurai who has too mild a demeanor to be a fighter, which is why he's a ronin or a samurai with no master. Number 6. Ninja Scroll Ninja Scroll was released in 1993 and was part of the anime invasion of the same era that also included classics like Ghost in the Shell and Neon Genesis Evangelion. Its use of an authentic if not highly mythologized depiction of medieval Japan, not only in design but also in sound and musical choices, made it a unique offering at a time when anime was seen as a cyberpunk medium. Number 5. Afro Samurai the story revolves around a hero known only as Afro and his lifelong quest for revenge. He seeks to challenge the one with the number one headband, who killed his father to acquire it. However, in order to do that, Afro Samurai has to follow a bloody path to revenge that includes getting the number two headband first. Shigurui, Death Frenzy is based on a manga that in turn is based on the first chapter of a novel called Tsurubajo Guzenjii, written by Norio Nanjo. The narrative is based on a series of true events and real people from the historic era of the samurai. To make this anime's pedigree even more impressive, it was produced by Madhouse, which has a reputation for anime that's as beautiful as it is complex. Number 3. Dororo the greedy samurai lord Daigo Kajimitsu's land is dying, and he would do anything for power, even renounce Buddha and make a pact with demons. His prayers are answered by twelve demons who grant him the power he desires by aiding his prefecture's growth, but at a price. When Kajimitsu's first son is born, the boy has no limbs, no nose, no eyes, no ears, nor even skin, yet still, he lives. This child is disposed of in a river and forgotten. But as luck would have it, he is saved by a medicine man who provides him with prosthetics and weapons, allowing for him to survive and fend for himself. Number 2. Demon Slayer Since ancient times, rumors have abounded of man-eating demons lurking in the woods. Because of this, the local townsfolk never venture outside at night. Legend has it that a demon slayer also roams the night, hunting down these bloodthirsty demons. For young Tanjiro, these rumors will soon to become his harsh reality. Ever since the death of his father, Tanjiro has taken it upon himself to support his family. Although their lives may be hardened by tragedy, they've found happiness. But that ephemeral warmth is shattered one day when Tanjiro finds his family slaughtered and the lone survivor, his sister Nezuko, turned into a demon. 
To his surprise, however, Nezuko still shows signs of human emotion and thought. Thus begins Tanjiro's request to fight demons and turn his sister human again. Number 1. Hayujmano. This is a better choice for those fans of samurai anime that prefer a more historically accurate depiction of Japan's medieval era. Hayujmano is a slow burn that's more about politics and personal discovery than fighting, but that doesn't mean the anime doesn't also have some great action scenes.